Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a new and improved sugarcane, bamboo, and kelp farm in your Bedrock Edition worlds. These farms use bone meal to get you a massive amount of items very, very quickly. They are intended to be high intensity and low duration use farms. That way you turn them on for a couple of minutes and you just get thousands upon thousands of items. These are incredibly simple and very, very cheap farms to build. You can put them pretty much anywhere in your Minecraft base and they're going to give you all the items you need right when you need them. The main use case for this farm is you are not patient. You want a thousand sugarcane, bamboo, or kelp literally right now. You don't have time to waste. You don't want to like wait for a farm to harvest. You just want all of your items right now. This could also be very good for a super smelter if you decide to use the bamboo because this could be an emergency backup that kicks on when you run out of fuel. Or it could be good to give you a massive supply of rockets for the sugarcane, or you could use the kelp for, uh, kelp things. These farms can be built any size that you want to, so you can build them very, very small, or you can build them very large, and the larger that you build them, the faster they are. A 10 plant sugarcane farm will give you 15,000 items in 5 minutes, or 180,000 sugarcane in 1 hour. The bamboo farm gives you 7,500 items in 5 minutes, or 90,000 an hour, and the kelp farm gives you 2,700 items in 5 minutes, or 32,000 per hour. As you can see, this is the sugarcane farm. It is 10 plants and it produces 180,000 items in one hour or 18,000 items per plant per hour. So you can make this farm any size that you want and that'll suit your needs. And just from running it for a couple minutes, as you can see, we have a single chest worth of items in each one of these slots. It is just an insane, insane amount of sugarcane. All three of the farms in today's video are basically identical. So here's the bamboo version and this is basically the exact same as the sugarcane version. The kelp farm is basically identical as well with some slight modifications just to get water inside of the build. This one of course is significantly slower because you need to wait for the water to reform in order to grow more kelp. The reason why the rates vary so much between these three different crops is because one bone meal will give you two sugarcane. So if we bone meal that, as you can see, you get the top piece and then the middle piece. So that's very efficient, but you only get one piece of bamboo per bone meal if you are bone mealing bamboo, which is not that efficient either. Either. and of course you only get one piece of kelp for every bone meal too and then with kelp you actually have to harvest that and the water needs to flow back down before you can grow it again it can't grow into an air block so of course these farms use an absolute ton of bone meal however that's not really an issue on bedrock edition because we have fully automatic bone meal farms such as moss farms or flower farms bone meal is basically like the staple op item on bedrock edition if you're looking for a very good moss farm you can check out my moss farm tutorial in the upper right that'll give you just an absolute ton of bone meal if you're not into using massive amounts of bone meal or you just don't have the infrastructure to supply the bone meal then i have several other tutorials for basically every other version of sugarcane kelp or bamboo farms on bedrock edition large flying machine versions simple observer based designs very very small bone meal based designs or large fully automatic designs on a hopper clock. You can check out all those tutorials down below. Basically any and every way you can think of farming these things, I have done it. So there are resources for you if you don't want to use this exact farm. And let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? For your convenience, there is a materials list in the description down below. That way you know everything you need to build with. I'm going to show you how to build a 10 plant farm, which means that you're going to need 13 blocks wide, six blocks long, five blocks above the ground and one block below the ground in the middle here for your storage. So this farm is basically identical for the sugarcane, the kelp, and the bamboo. And I'll be showing you how to build the base version of it and then the slight modifications that are required to farm the different types of item. Now keep in mind, you can build this farm much smaller than what I'm showing. You can build it with just a single plant. You can do two, three plants. You can do 16 plants. You can really do basically whatever you want with this design. So let's get started. We're going to build the item collection first, and that's going to be going in the lower left-hand corner. So if you're building a sugarcane farm, you need a double chest with a hopper going into the back of it, the top of it, and then the side of that hopper. And if you are building the bamboo or the kelp farm, all you need is a double chest at this layer right here, and then a hopper going into the back of it. 
because the shirt cane produces so many items you need two times hopper speed collection which is that version right there bamboo and kelp don't produce that many items so you can get away with a single hopper either way fill in this entire area with 10 double chests of storage and that is going to be your item collection for all of your different plants now that you have your item storage in we need to place a line of grass or dirt behind all of your hoppers and then a line of target blocks behind all of those place a line of redstone behind every single target block that you have and then you want a dispenser on top of every target block on top of the build like so and one piston on top of every dispenser too now we're going to encase the fronts and side of the build so go ahead and put a layer of glass in all of these areas and that is going to keep in all of your items and all of your water and stuff like that now for the on and off switch of the build we're going to come over here and line ourselves up with our first hopper place in yourselves a repeater facing towards the front of the farm a piece of redstone dust right there a block of above that and then a redstone torch on the back side of it and a block above that that should start clocking and now we're going to place our on and off switch on the front of that and go ahead and place in yourselves two upper slabs right here and then three pieces of redstone dust like so we want ourselves a piece of redstone dust in front of this redstone torch a block right there and then a repeater on one tick right there so this is the foundation of the farm from here we need to do a couple of things to customize it depending on what exactly you are farming so timestamps for all the different customizations are on screen or those chapters down below the video if you want to build an op shirtcane farm go to the left side of the build and place in a block right there next to that hopper and one on the other side as well go to the inside of the build and we need to waterlog each one of these hoppers just by placing a water bucket inside of it place in your shirtcane right here in front of each one of these dispensers and then we need another layer of pistons on top of the build that way it is completely lossless now we're going to put another layer of glass on top of this build like so and then put a cap on top of it too you could put the roof out of glass blocks or you could have it be out of lower slabs it really doesn't matter that much just build it out of whatever you want and now for the bone meal input and storage we need a line of hoppers going into each one of our dispensers on the back side of the build now you can either do a line of hoppers right there and then barrels above it and just put your bone meal into each one of those barrels or you could bring this out a block and then have a double chest right here this of course is going to cost more hoppers but it's going to be you know more storage essentially so build that whichever way you want either extra hoppers and double chests or just straight up barrels right here if you choose to go for the double chest method we're going to need another line of solid blocks right here and then a line of redstone dust above all of that just to power all of our hoppers another slab and one more piece of redstone dust and that is our farm complete we need to put a bunch of bone meal into each one of these double chests now that you put some bone meal in those chests in the back you can turn on that lever and as you see you're going to be getting an absolute ton of sugarcane very very quickly and all of that's going to be going into the chest to build a very overpowered bamboo farm all you need to do is come on the inside here and place in one piece of bamboo in front of each one of these dispensers and now we're going to put a roof above this thing either made out of lower slabs or solid blocks or glass blocks it doesn't matter what the roof is made out of just build it out of whatever you want now grab yourself some redstone and we need a piece of redstone above each one of these pistons and the final one can either be a piece of redstone or just a solid block depending on how cheap you are moving around the back side of the build you need a hopper going into each one of these dispensers like so and then you can put a double chest above each of those and that is where your bone meal is going to be going in fill up each of these with a bunch of bone meal and your farm is ready to go now that you have some bone meal on the farm you can flick this lever and you have an absolute ton of bamboo on demand anytime you want it and of course all of that's going to be going into your chests if you want to build an overpowered kelp farm the first thing that you need to do is put a layer of solid blocks above all of your pistons right here and then redstone dust above all of that like so put in another layer of glass blocks going all the way around and now we need to put in some buttons on these two faces right here of your glass to keep the water from flowing in places it shouldn't place in yourself a stair block on the left side right here and on the right side as well and then you need a block right here to keep in that water Swing around to the back side of the build and you need to place a hopper on the back side of each one of these dispensers like so and then go ahead and place in yourself a double chest above each one of those for your bone meal input. Go ahead and put a bunch of bone meal inside of all of those. And now you need an absolute ton of water so click on that stair and this stair with a water bucket and then you want to put water inside of each one of these pistons as well. And then you need water at this layer right here too just to give the water ample chances to flow down 
and the kelp enough time to grow up, and then plant in yourself the kelp right in front of these dispensers as so. Now you can go ahead and cover up the roof of this build with either a layer of glass blocks, solid blocks, or slabs. It doesn't matter what you build the roof out of, just build it out of whatever you want. Now go to the left side of the build. This repeater right here needs to be on four ticks. This redstone needs to be replaced with a four tick repeater. And then this needs to be on four ticks as well, just to slow down the farm enough for you to actually harvest. Put some bone meal on the build and you should have yourself a fully functional kelp farm now. And all of that kelp is going to be going into your storage as you can see here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, then of course let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always trying to help you guys out as best as I possibly can. If you enjoyed today's video, then of course consider dropping a like as it helps out the video on the channel a ton. If you're new here, then maybe subscribe and otherwise thank you for watching and then there was silence.